Hey y'all, hey I'm here. I'm gonna have to edit this video as far as cutting and copying pieces together. And I know when I use iMovie, it um it like makes a smaller frame. I don't know if anybody knows why that happens or if there's a better way to do it. But anyway, so yes, I have a hands-free device, so no worries. I am driving. Um, I'm gonna be going to Taco Bell. I'm gonna be doing my first mukbang on YouTube. I don't know if you can even call it a mukbang, I'm just hungry. And um, I try to eat really healthy, and I'm definitely going to the gym later. Um, but I don't know anybody else, any other females, like when you're about to get your period, you kind of lose all self-control. <laughs> so I allow myself like one really bad meal, um, like a month, and right now I'm craving Taco Bell. I'm hungry, I just got my oil changed, so we'll see what's up. And today's video is going to be about mental health. Um, a little bit of mental health. I know I've touched upon like abuse and things like that. Um, but, you know, just mental health in general. Um, you all get to see what I order at Taco Bell. <laughs> I know I disable the comments, so it's not like anybody can give me advice on videos or anything like that. And I love how I'm passing all these like healthy food stores as I'm on my way to Taco Bell. <laughs> I think Taco Bell out of all the fast food restaurants is a little bit, you have options to eat a little bit better. Um, like I get beans instead of meat for the most part, not a hundred percent, but, um, and like, it's just like, I know friends, I had friends that used to work there and it's basically just like, you know, dried beans that they, you know, rehydrate, like, like dehydrated beans that they, uh, rehydrate. So it's a li little bit better for you, but, um, really knows I mean, <laughs> where they get these oh there's a, a bank right there closer to Taco Bell that's okay it doesn't matter that could have taken a different road down now I'm on like a main street that like it's like a one every five seconds I have to drive a little slower but it's all good in the hood did I pass it I don't think so I would have seen it anyway so um yeah I'm gonna just shut this off for two seconds till I get there and then y'all can see what I order. But um, yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna be talking about mental health. Um, and this is a part of mental health, right? So we all worry about what we eat and you know, we worry about um, always being healthy and then we get down on ourselves. But like every once in a while, what's that saying? Treat yourself, even if it is like a really bad treat because sometimes our minds, Need that break we need to be able to just like not answer to ourselves not answer to anybody else you know I'm gonna drive through this way um, not answer to standards in society I know this is really weird my steering wheel I'm sorry oh yeah yeah all right I'm gonna mm, no cuz I'm gonna let you guys hear what I order real quick and then I'm gonna stop it let's see what I want I'm crazy. I get so much stuff. Hi. Um, can I get um a crunch wrap supreme with beans instead of meat? And no tomatoes? No, with no tomato and then beans instead of meat. You want the tomato, right? No tomato. Okay. Um, then can I get a um, cheesy gordita crunch with chicken? Okay. Can I get a cheesy potato burrito? Can you add beans to that? I don't like cheesy potato burrito. You don't have that? Okay. No um I have a green potato burrito. You want a bean? Yeah, uh does it have cheese in it? Yeah, nice cheese potato. Okay, yeah, I'll have that and then can you just add beans to it? Okay. And um can I just get a do you have unsweetened iced tea? Yeah, this one on that. Small please. And then, can I just get an order of the the French fries? I don't have French fries. You don't? Okay, no, that, that that's okay, that's okay. That's that's enough, that's good. Okay, okay thank you. All right, 
Alright, hold on. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so I got my what if it's Baja Blast? I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that that decision. <laughs> I hope this doesn't all get cut off. I know. It's kind of weird the way my phone is. Um, they used to make these cheesy potato burritos with like meat or whatever, and I get them with beans. Super good. Yeah, I'm not into artificial colors. I try to stay away from them. I know I said that, but... Mmm... Oh my god. So good. Super good. Okay, so, and it's funny because this Taco Bell that I happen to go to is in a town where I used to hang out a lot. And where one of my best friends in the whole wide world used to live. Fortunately, he committed suicide back in 2010. So coming around these parts kind of like reminds me of that time in my life. Mmm. It almost struck me to want to make this video. And for some reason on YouTube, I don't know if you have to pay extra money to get, like, more time or whatever. But I can only make 15-minute videos. Um, oh, my God. I'm so hungry. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm, like, going to town on this first one. So, I honestly think I'm getting cauliflower ear too. My ears are starting to burn a little bit. And my baby daddy is trying to scare me about it because he thinks he knows everything. I don't really believe him. I think it's just in my head. I don't really want to have to wear ear protection for jujitsu, but I might have to start. Mm. So yeah, coming around these parts reminds me of like, you know, it just kind of brings up memories of the time when I used to hang out around here and how much my friend was struggling you know was given his own apartment at like 15 parents just like didn't watch him and his brother into heavy drugs and stuff I just used to hang around with that crowd um not even in my normal crowd of people it's like not even people that I normally would hang out with just like my friend from somewhere else I met I, I wouldn't do what they were doing but my friend was very strange and I'm very strange and we just clicked and I was kind of like a shoulder angel for him I think and we had a lot of fun together and a lot of good deep talks and he was very I got my degree in photography so and he lived in this awesome apartment complex with like his dad was like into the military so we had like an old military helicopter on his front lawn like this old tractor like all these cool things this old building he lived in so i do a lot of photo shoots there and stuff and he was so just like open-minded down for anything you know really good person but was not had issues had mental health issues you know was not looked after enough i think you know just someone who kind of fell by the wayside of their parents and was honestly probably very difficult to deal with as a kid but meant well had the big one of the biggest hearts and that's what really drew me to him aside from the fact that we were both complete weirdos and we just kind of got each other which is you know as you know if you're someone who doesn't fit into the popular world of society it's like hard to find sometimes and even if you unconventionally find these people and they're not even someone who goes to your school or like lives in your town you know always helped me when I needed it you know mm. this cheesy potato burrito add beans and then put the sauce all on it so damn good um finally ended up getting three things but honestly better off <laughs> I can eat so much this one this is my exception cheesy gordita crunch because they use almost like a ranch kind of sauce it tastes so good with this chicken whatever it actually is I don't know so honestly so this is like my mental health thing like I could go home I just grocery shop I can make food but sometimes you just have to say you know what especially someone like me who doesn't have a lot of money who's like barely getting by 
rolled on my shoulders. See, I try to make it look better because I got like an unsweet and iced tea. You have to be able to act like people who have money sometimes. Meaning, just do something that makes you happy. And if Taco Bell one time, once a month makes you happy, do it. You know, did it really cost me that much? No. I, I got to work last weekend. I made some decent money, so. Okay, my. The more than I would have had, you know. And that's why I do jujitsu too. It's like. It's funny, I'm trying to eat fast because I know I only have like four minutes left. But. Whatever. You know I got a crunch wrap supreme in there. <laughs> I don't know if this is even a mukbang. I just call it that. Um, I know I'm just like eating and talking. Um, so yeah, and, and you have to also understand, like my friend passed away and like he called me weeks before. But how many he wasn't doing well. And I didn't do anything about it because he's always it was always complaining about something. So I kind of just was like, okay. And then he actually killed himself, hung himself. It was weird. He hung him. Robin Williams did it later. He did it first, but they kill themselves on the same day in the same way. And their birthdays are one day apart. Very strange. So when Robin Williams killed himself, I was like, like struck with it again. It was very strange. My friend killed himself in like 2010. And, um, I had a lot of guilt about it. Cause I'm like, wait a second. He just was trying to tell me this. And I wasn't like, doing anything about it and I've had friends throughout the years like check themselves into hospitals and stuff or like what you have to understand is people are gonna do what they're gonna do it's not your responsibility you know be there for them whatever fucks you up in the head point them in the right direction and like you're not their mother I'm not trying to sound heartless, but you get what I'm saying? Like, don't make yourself feel like it's your fault if something happens. That person is responsible for themselves. You know what I mean? If it's your kid, you know, take more responsibility. But some people are just like emotional vampires. Sometimes they do things because they really, really feel that way. Sometimes they do that for do things for attention. And it's not your job to decipher which one's which. Let them get their help. Be there for them. Be supportive. You know what I'm saying? Don't make them feel like they're alone. That's the worst. But don't make yourself feel responsible for any weird, crazy thing that they decide to do. You know? I have my own intense mental problems from things in my life, from my ex. I, I suffer from really bad PTSD. I go to group therapy, like, you know, like, when I can feel good, I want to feel good, you know? And it, it's not selfish. You know, so just... Unfortunately, I have to cut this video off, but... Just remember, live your best life, eat Taco Bell once a month, do what you have to do to feel good, support your friends, but you're not their mother. So with that, I have to sign out because I have no time. Yeah. I hate these 15 minute video caps. I hope you enjoyed watching me chew and talk, disgusting, I think mukbangs are gross. Shout out to Trisha Paytas, the original, not the original original, but you know what I'm saying. Bye, you look beautiful today. Enjoy your Taco Bell.